Many of you from North America may recognize these from your local thrift store, your grandparents' house, or maybe have seen them even alongside the road. And no, it's not a candle holder. It's the glass insulator. Growing up in rural Pennsylvania, I have many fond memories of collecting these with my grandmother and occasionally finding broken ones alongside the road. But what exactly are they? They were invented shortly after the telegraph in the 1840s and started being manufactured out of glass in the 1850s. As the name suggests, these telephone insulators insulate against the rain, wet wood, and other things that might ground out the connection, just as your house insulation insulates you from the cold. So the insulator became vital to the reliability of the network of then telegraphs and later with the widespread adoption of telephone. So what exactly do I have? This first one is a Hemingway Gray 12 of the blue variety, also known as a double pony. It was developed for exchange line construction. Not that I know what that means. The other Hemingway Gray I have here happens to be the original pony itself which was developed to be especially resistant to water and answer the needs for rural long distance lines. However, the other two I couldn't seem to identify, so if you know anything about them, please tell me about it in the comments. Collecting and identifying these insulators has developed into a sizable community since it started in the 1960s. They have a National Insulator Association and plenty of online resources such as insulators.info, which looks a little dated, but was a great resource that I used for writing this video and even identifying my glass. With many shapes and sizes, manufacturers, and stories behind these little discarded pieces of glass, it's a wonder more people don't pay attention to them. So next time that you're out anywhere where old things are kept, keep an eye out for these little pieces of glass history.